Hey, welcome back to Zoo Graphist. I'm Dr. Fox. In the last tutorial, we have imported our Cinema 4D bus to Unreal Engine, and in this tutorial, as I promised, we are gonna drive that car or drive that bus. So we don't have to delay anymore. Let's get into the game. Okay, here we are at Unreal Engine. Before doing anything with the game, let's do a little recap. In the last tutorial in Cinema 4D, we rigged our bus with root joint facing downwards and every joint is facing x-axis in the forward vector. And we exported it as an FBX file so that our Unreal Engine can identify it as a skeletal mesh. And when we import the skeletal mesh here and we have three new objects and those objects contain different data of our bus and the first one we have our mesh data and all the mesh properties are here if you want to change anything you can change it here and the material too and we have our physical asset and uh, that we made our custom physics with a box for our route and uh, sphere for our tires and all you can import a custom mesh by right click and you can import a static mesh as a custom collision mesh if you need you can make that and import it but for our purpose this was enough and the third one is our skeleton data and we tried it and it's working for our bus so that was where we are at and uh, now let's make this bus drivable and before we get into anything let's go to our content folder and uh, let's look at the folders you know what this maps folder is we created it for our map and colored it all these folders you can ignore for right now there is a developer folder level prototyping folder starter content you know i think you know what it is we imported it when we create that project and uh, there is a track folder you can ignore all these folders this track folder and level prototyping folder is with that vehicle template uh, there is a map with it and you can ignore that the only folder we are interested in is here this vehicle folder and vehicle template folder vehicle folder we already saw what that is there is, there is our ksrtc bus imported with our skeletal mesh and all that and let's save it again and let's go back to our content folder and let's see what are the objects in vehicle template in here you can see a maps folder you can ignore that too that too is from unreal engine vehicle template and all of these are from vehicle template but we don't need this map right now in this vehicle template folder these are the two important folders we need we don't need this so let's color it something else let's color it okay and let's give the same color for all the folders we are ignoring we give it the same color set color and put it like this we are ignoring all these folders so those are the folders you don't need to worry about right now now that's out of the way let's get to driving our car to drive a car or a bus we need to consider six things i'll list it out first one is input action or input mapping second one is a game mode the third one is player control and ui the ui is an optional one and the fourth one is vehicle pawn or vehicle blueprint and the fifth one is wheel blueprints and an animation blueprint these are the things you need for driving this car let's see what all other input action and input mapping is responsible for getting our keystrokes or any other game control inputs and making it as a trigger in our blueprints we need these triggers to tell our bus what to do when to do it and the game mode is telling the world or our map which object which bus we are using or which vehicle we are using or which hud are we need to show in the map such things are set by our game mode 
for play control and ui we don't have to worry about that right now it's already set with the vehicle template one main thing it's doing is it's connecting our world it's connecting our input actions and game mode together and the other thing it do is uh, it's drawing the our ui with our speed and all that it's just a blueprint that can read our players data okay the vehicle pawn is our main thing here we already have a vehicle in our viewport here but it's just a body and a skeleton also the geometry data but it doesn't have a brain or it doesn't have the logics how to be behave all the logics are done in this vehicle pawn blueprint we'll create a vehicle pawn blueprint and we write all the logic and tell the bus how to behave in the world and there will be wheel blueprints who tell the bus about the wheels of or the tires of our bus what the radius what the width of the tire how slippy it is or friction it is how much friction it has and uh, whether it should trigger with the brake or which, whether it is rotating when the steering rotates all such things are controlled by wheel blueprints and finally there is an animation blueprint animation blueprint is a little bit different from others it's not controlling any of those things it's just draw how it is controlled let's say we need to turn our bus to the right vehicle pawn blueprint will be turning our bus to the right but animation blueprint will be turning our tire with it it's con it's controlling the animations which should be happening for a pawn we can control animation data like opening the door turning the wheel such things in animation blueprint anyway those are the things we need to consider when we make this car drivable now let's remember all those theories and let's make this bus drivable when we created our game we made it with a vehicle template uh, if you didn't just go to add and add features of content pack then select the vehicle and add it to the project it will add all the uh, some of these folders and all the thing we just listed is living here in the vehicle template folder if you open we can see a blueprint folder and input folder the first thing was input action or input mapping it's inside this folder you can see there is a imc default blueprint it's input mapping contact you can make this by right click and write input sorry let's write it here input and there's an input mapping context and there's an input action too that is inside here all this ia break ia handbrake all these are input actions let's open one of these input action and let's see there's a there's some options here you don't have to worry about any of those you just need to worry about this value type there's a there's an axis 1d float options here and let's open one uh, another there's a handbrake option here and the value type is digital boot the other two different types with axis 2d and axis 3d options we don't have to worry about that right now we just need these two types of values for this project the difference is that the digital bool option is just two values true or false zero or one axis 1d contains zero to one values you can have 0 0.5 0 0.75 0 0.756 something like that you can have infinite values in between zero and one also minus zero sorry minus one and zero so that's the difference if it is a digital bool one it only contains true or false for a handbrake it just need a bool value if it is braked true or if it is not braked it's false but in this break there is a 1d float it should be a bool value right if it is braked true it's not false but in unreal engine brake is also the reverse gear so it need more than one value you can reverse in different speed values and uh, the reverse gear act as a brake when you slowing down the vehicle too but for a keyboard user it's true or false if you press it 
it's one if you don't press it zero this value differences in break is only for game controllers which has different which can control different values like a joystick or something and in this case we put float because we are not only controlling with keyboard we need to control our bus with the joystick too so let's put it there and let's see a different one a look around is also a 1d float look around is for uh, rotating our camera around our vehicle this is controlled by our mouse so we will be having in between values to no, not just a bull value okay we have a reset value reset value is for resetting the car if it is flipped down or stuck to some wall okay and there is a steering control uh, keyboard value it's it will be true or false but uh, with a joystick we have different values and a throttle it's i think it's also a uh, float value and uh, there's a toggle camera if you have multiple cameras you can toggle between those and it's a bool value we don't need in between values for that okay but none of these input actions mention which keys are triggering this that is done by this imc default or input mapping context let's open that here you can see the all the ia brake ia handbrake ia look around all that input actions are here and if we toggle down this one we can see the, it is assigned to w key for our keyboard up key for our keyboard so we can press either w or up and there are some game pad and um, there's a vibe trigger if you have a vibe and uh, yeah all those so we don't have to trigger with a w key the and uh, up key again trigger that we don't have to control it the we can just add one more key here and it will control it will trigger the input action we already mentioned and for handbrake there is a space bar and uh, the different one is the look around one it's a mouse x if we turn our mouse to left and right it will trigger this and uh, it will be plus one or minus one whichever angle you are moving okay so that's it for input mapping contacts in all the tutorials you can't see this thing it, they were using something else inside this project setting and uh, i think it's in input i believe let's see input yeah there is an action mapping option here this will be the things if you search for input action and uh, unreal already depreciated deprecated it uh, and uh, i don't know how long it will be here it, it is still here you can use this too but i don't know how long it will be here so practicing with this will be better this will be an easier one uh, but we can assign more than different types of input mappings if we use this one so this is a better one okay that's our input mappings and we'll go back to our blueprint folder in our vehicle template folder okay here you can see the second thing the game mode here you can see two game modes for off-road game and a vehicle advanced game for vehicle advanced game mode these are the two game modes to control our cars already gave by unreal engine with uh, that vehicle template there's two cars here a uh, vehicle for off-road car and uh, this is a sports car the game mode for that is named vehicle advanced game mode they forgot to rename it i think let's change it to sports car car underscore gm you can name it anyway and uh, let's save it now let's open one of the game mode and it's in another window i'll dock it here and let's close all these things distracting things okay it contains which game session we are using which game state uh, we are using which player control class we are using player control we 
haven't mentioned yet this uh, vehicle player control here and uh, we which hud we need to use there is no hud right now there is an hud there is a ui here that's actually assigned by the player control right now so we'll leave that i already said we will be skipping that part we don't have to worry about it now and there's a default pawn class that's the thing we need to change for our ksrtc pawn class all others can be the same we don't have to change any of those because it's already set for a car game and uh, let's see the sports car in our world for that let's go to our world setting if you don't see that go to window and uh, world setting turn that on and you can see the game mode at the top we can select our game mode right now there's our sports car gm and uh, we need to add a player start from our place actors you can say search for player start if you don't find that and i already add that let's delete that and add it again and i'll add it somewhere here so this will be the pawn spawning place we need to spawn our vehicle here so this will be our pawn spawning place now let's hit play and uh, let's give it some time and as you can see it spawned our car and it's already drivable because it all it has all those six blueprints and if we change that game mode to the second one the off-road game and let's go change that to off-road game with the off-road game mode yeah we can add that and if we press now we will be loading our wait well, we will be loading our second car and i think it doesn't have a reverse gear or i messed up something up with that so it doesn't matter we won't be using that car if i press the wrong button i'm not sure anyway the game mode did its job it just spawned that blueprint and uh, we need a game mode for our ksrtc bus so that will be our game mode we can duplicate this one or right click i think it's in the blueprint class and search for game mode we can add a new game mode here or i think it's the game mode base we don't have to be confused we can just press this plus button and it will create a game mode for us in this case we can just duplicate this one so all others will be automatically set let's rename it to ksrtc underscore gm so the game mode is set but we don't have a pawn class for our ksrtc we have to make it before that we'll see what this vehicle player control and ui is when i play for these two gamers you might notice there is a ui here that's vehicle ui which meant mentioned the speed and the gear values that is shown by this vehicle and the vehicle player control is getting that sorry not getting that it's uh, giving that data for that hud element it is giving the speed for our hud element and the hud element is drawing those getting those speed data and uh, changing the text values in it we don't have to worry about that too and this vehicle player control is getting the data from the player and giving it to giving it back it also have another purpose it assigns that imc default we remember the input mapping context named imc default for our player if we have a different mapping we can assign that too and uh, yeah that's it for these two we don't have to worry about that it's already set so let's go to one of these let's go to sports car the off-road one is a little bit complicated so i'll go to the sports car one and here you can see four new objects we never measured this curved 
curve object we will be seeing what it is and there is a blueprint pawn you can see blueprint class pawn and uh, there is a sports car wheel front and a sports car wheel rear we already mentioned that as our fourth and uh, fifth i believe yeah fourth and fifth this one is our fourth one the vehicle pawn blueprint <laughs>